Okay, so as a continuation of the um, sorting out the, the correct joint rotations, Maya has obviously got the Orient joint, um, which is kind of basic and, and only works in uh, generally sort of the world if, if your joint chain is, is in a, a decent orthographic view. Um, and so what what are the alternatives? Maya has historically been uh, pretty bad at, at um, being able to organize the orientation of your joints. Um, so I, I generally rely on a, a tool that's been around for quite a long time and that's the um, Comet uh, Joint Orient tool. So I've got it up on my desktop and here we go. Um, you can pretty much uh, the Mel script has been going around for quite a long time, um, so uh, it's very easily accessible on on the web, uh, and it's uh, it's generally a tool that you should have part of your uh, rigging toolkit. It, it's pretty invaluable. Okay, um, so ultimately, um, you um, have got the option to click on a joint and hide the local rotation axis. So everything's um, contained within one um, toolkit. Okay. Or I can um, go to select hierarchy, which I copy to my desktop, and then show um, local rotation axes as well. Okay. So um, the standard way uh, of doing it is um, is using the um, the classic aim axis um, which is X and the up axis which, which I always um, uh, is, is like the secondary axis so um, let's say oh, this one for example um, so uh, the Z axis is facing negative X okay so um, that's the z-axis and that's facing negative x uh, and let's orient that joint and you can see that's done it that way um, so the up axis is, is literally choosing an, um, an axis on your joint and work out which way you want it to face in the world um, coordinate system okay um, so that's really useful that way. But one thing that is is a really great part of this tool is that you've got the manual um, tweak rotations in a positive mm -hmm. and negative way. And and this is awesome for um, no matter w how your joint chain is oriented, okay, um, in world. Um, generally when you're orienting joints you are uh, either flicking them over in one, uh, 180 degrees um, or multiples of 90. Okay so let's say um, I want to rotate this uh, joint spin it over in the x-axis by 180 degrees so um, let's tweak it by 45 degrees each time and if I click on manual rotate, so it's it's pushing it 45 degrees each time, and then clicking it four times, um, I've rotated it into position. And that doesn't matter um, how your core chain is oriented, uh, and that's that's the beauty of this. So I thoroughly recommend having this as part of your toolkit. Um, and then lastly, the end joint, I always find the easiest way is to zero out the joint orients um, and then it, that end joint always, uh, with those zeroed out, it always takes on um, the direction of its parent. Okay, So there you can see um, very quickly, very easily, all my joints are aligned the right way. Um, uh, and that's something that is absolutely imperative when you're setting up a, a skeleton.